Hi folks, I'm Florian from iProcess and today we are talking about traceability. To be more specific, horizontal and vertical traceability in the V-cycle of automotive software development. As we know, the V-cycle has two sides, a left side and a right side. No matter if you use a classic single V or a multitude of Vs, sometimes called a W, it is also independent of the development process your organization is running. Traceability is necessary in all of them. As mentioned, there is horizontal and vertical traceability. Let's start with vertical. When we say vertical traceability, we are looking at the left side of the V, the development side. Here we have the high-level requirements from different sources, usually from a customer, regulatory and non-functional. Also, the hazard analysis and risk assessment is located up here in safety critical projects. All these inputs are digested and create the system requirements. From here, you define the architecture that is going to support fulfilling those requirements with a further breakdown into components like software and hardware, which on their own have an architecture and then a design that will eventually get into implementation. Now, everything in the implementation is derived from levels above on the left side of the V. You don't want to forget to satisfy a higher level requirement. And on the other hand, you don't want to implement something that hasn't been requested. This connection between the requirements on all levels is the vertical traceability. Once established, it is very easy to query for requirement coverage. And in case of a requirement change, the impact can be determined with little effort. Looking at the horizontal traceability next. As the name suggests, this goes from one side of the V to the other. The difference is that horizontal traceability is not a chain like vertical traceability. It is separated connections for each level of the requirements. Starting with the lowest level, for example, software design, the corresponding tests are unit tests on the right side. Software architecture is tested in the software integration tests. The next level is system architecture linked to system integration tests, system requirements to system tests, and finally, high-level requirements linked to acceptance tests. In case of a safety-relevant project, you also have the fault injection tests linked over to the failure mode and effect analysis. The complete horizontal traceability can provide you the following information. Test coverage of all the requirements in two ways. First, it tells you if you covered all of them, and in case you missed some, it will point that out. And second, it tells you the test result directly for each requirement. It also helps with the impact of changes, similar to the vertical traceability. When a requirement changes, it will help you determine the impact on the test suite. It is worthwhile mentioning that there can be more levels than used in this example. Rule of thumb is that every level that integrates several components is a system from the view of the components, but it can also be a subsystem from the view of the final integration. Many tools out there can help with the horizontal and vertical traceability. Ideally, you're using an integrated solution that provides feedback in real time rather than having a person collecting it. One way or the other, traceability is a very powerful method to help ensure the quality of your project, but only if it is implemented right and well-maintained and regularly consumed.